This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. As I already mentioned, OBS is not supported on OpenBSD. So you may ask, how do I produce my content? How do I record and do live streaming on OpenBSD? Simply, I use FFmpeg. I have two scripts here. One is for screencasting and one for streaming. And so far, they have done me a good job. I created, I handcrafted this stuff and copied a lot of things from other uh, sources on the internet, including Zany's uh, dot file and optimize it for my hardware. So this one is the screencasting, it's so simple. The audio is from two sources, uh, snd0.mon. This one is a monitor or audio playback. And then basically this is the uh, microphone. Then combines together, do some video codec stuff. Uh, sorry, this one records the uh, screen and then the resolution from where to start would be the from the outmost left side of the screen based on the a render and then basically the video codec audio codec and then dumps this stuff to a file right it's super simple now you may ask how do i configure this basically monitor or the playback so let me explain it a bit so this monitor or the playback is in such a case that if i want to play an audio and then also at the same time record my voice let me show you quickly. So if I play something now uh, from my uh, from the OpenBSC release songs, then you should be able to hear it. So enough of that. And this is done with the uh, monitor. So unfortunately, it's not something out of the box on OpenBSC. You have to run two small commands to get it working. So you have to actually modify the SNDIO daemon and then basically pass a flag and then restart your SNDIO daemon. So set SNDIO, SNDIO daemon flags dash v this one is the volume that you want to put let's say 80 and the rest of the thing is just a default stuff and you don't need to change anything and then mount right so once you have done that i'm not going to do it because i'm recording at the same time once you enter this one you need to restart your uh, sndio daemon rcctr restart SNDIOT. Also, one thing that I have forgotten is about the microphone. By default, microphone is disabled under OpenBSC because of the security reasons. So, if you want to enable it, you have two ways to do it. One is temporary and another one permanently. So, to just enable it on the spot and temporarily, you can actually do do as cctl kern dot audio dot record. Then value is one. To make it permanent, pass exactly the same thing to the etc cctl conf, as you can see, like this, and then you have it permanently. That's about the screencasting, about the streaming. Situation also is the same. I use FFmpeg. The parameters more or less are the same, and also I tailored it toward my needs, and so far it's working just i want to highlight this line because you may encounter it and that's about one about the codec so if you use mp3 lame uh, you may actually have audio distortion and uh, sound clicking so you may consider to use aac instead uh, another one is about setting the thread size and the cpu use these two more or less uh, you can say can go hand in hand so I limited the number of threads to four because in my experience, if I extreme, if I stream for like 15, 20 minutes afterwards, suddenly the CPU max out to hundred percent and then the live stream will buffer constantly. Now you may say how to set the volume of the microphone. Well, there are two ways for it as well. So you can either use a SNDI or CTL or use a program called cmixer you have to install it pkg as cmixer 
and this C mixer is a very handy tool you can actually change the volume knob the only shortcoming it has is that you cannot switch the uh, sound card on the fly so now this one is uh, using the SND0 my internal sound card so it's showing the those par those values and if I want to actually change the volume of the microphone what I have to do I have to do export audio device equals to SND1 this is my microphone literally and then open a C mixer again and as you can see the values has changed so now it's pointing to my microphone and it's showing its value and then I can actually do on set audio device and if we open it again you can see it backs to the SND0 so I created an alias here C mixer microphone which does all these things automatically so now let's say i created the video i recorded everything is fine what would be the next step the next step is basically record uh, editing it with kdn live and afterwards i modify a bit the sound for that one as i use audacity and i apply a couple of filters so i do the compressor first then noise reduction and afterwards i apply limiter hard limit all these with the default settings i don't touch anything i'm not a professional kind of like an audio engineer and then i export the audio separately i have a video separately as well and i have to do mix mix them together so i created a command called mixer again using ffmpeg so this is the command here and is in my bash rc file and it's simply just like grabs the video from the video file that I passed and grabs the audio from the mp3 file export of the audacity and bind these two together and produce the final output file then it comes to the creating the thumbnail I use a GIMP Pinta uh, to create thumbnails, modify the pictures, do multiple things but also frequently I use Pixel R as well as electro build to add some effects or to do basic image editing by the way none of this is stuff they are paying me it's just like i'm just sharing the tools that i use so if you want to uh, access to the script that i talked about i have created a repository on my github account and also i put all the things that i talked about already here and lastly if you want to no further i highly recommend you to read the faq 13 or the multimedia part it has a lot of things to actually to go through so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it